we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a card icon. Let us start with a rectangle. Make sure it's selected, go to path and object to path. Now we can use the notes tool. Click on a note and drag it to the side. Hold control when you do, that way it stays in the same horizontal position. I used to be the tool, I've got the snapping enabled and I've also got snap to pass active. I click on the two anchor points here and then I can resize it while holding control and it stays in line. Now let me fix that at the bottom a little bit. I don't want to have it too far apart from the rectangle. Now left click, hold control, go to the right hand side. And at the top, we'll use the Bezier tool again. Left click on the anchor point, go to the left, hold control. Now we'll use the ellipse, hold control and shift when you drag it. Stay away from the line because of snapping. Copy it, press and control D, drag it to the right hand side while holding control, then shift click on both and reposition them. Always hold control when you drag it from left to right. Select it all, click on the X, then hold shift and click on a black color swatch to give it a stroke, object, fill in stroke, let me use millimeters on the width and I increase it. The size depends on the zoom level that you've got, but make sure that you've got round caps selected. And it looks fine. I now select it all and press Ctrl G to group it. When I size it up and down, I hold Shift and Ctrl. I use the ellipse tool again to create a circle. Hold shift and control, put it to the bottom. Select it all, go to align and distribute an object and align it properly. But you may want to reposition that by eye so it looks a little bit better when it's further to the left and a little bit downwards. Press control R if you can't see rulers. But you can see we need to first select it and then go to path, stroke the path. And now the guide stays snap exactly into position. That's what we want. And now follow your guides using the Bezier tool. Close your shape, give it a fill, no stroke. So hold shift, click on the X to get rid of the stroke and then click on the color swatch to give it a fill. Hold shift and click on a red circle in the background, then go to path and division. And now you only have to find a color combination that you like. And this is how you can create a card icon in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.